Scott, can I speak with you for a minute? It's good to see you. How's our chief compliance officer doing today? Not well, Mr. Stewart. After being in the role for three months, it's clear that we need a lot more resources to get the job done. Excuse me? Do you know what compliance costs us each year? We spend over $250,000 a year and it's growing at 15% each year. Do you have any idea what these costs have done to our returns? Returns, sir, I don't understand. What does that have to do with compliance? What does my job have to do with returns? Are you pulling my leg? Who put you up to this? Is it April Fool's Day? Sir. You're serious, aren't you? Yes. As a chief anything in a business you have a fiduciary responsibility to its health. We cannot serve our community if we don't exist. And if we don't mind our costs we will not be here. So I need to do more with less? Now we're getting somewhere. When I put a Gen Y person like yourself in this role I figured you'd have some cloudy, mobile, crowdsourced something sassy thing to figure this out. In reading The American Banker, Bank Technology and Gonzo Banker there are a number of innovative companies that are changing the way compliance work gets done. Sir, when Bob retired after 35 years in compliance, he showed me exactly how we've always done it and that's what I'm doing. How old are you? 29. What does that have to do with anything? You're young, you should be rebellious. Think of Bob as the man. You need to rebel against the man. Sir. I'll make this very clear. For our institution to survive you need to cut our cost of compliance in half. You need to reduce this cost by 50%. Is that clear? Bob didn't tell me how to do that. Do I need to hire a 15 year old to fix this problem? Think of it as a video game that gives you points for reducing our compliance costs and go for high score. If we stay on Bob's path, we're done as an institution and we'll have to merge or die. Do either of these options work for you? Is it really that serious? Experts say we'll lose 2,000 community banks and credit unions in the next few years because the cost of compliance will be too great. I better figure something out and quick. But where do I start? That's for you to figure out, but I'd look for an answer that's cloudy, mobile, crowdsource something sassy thingy, if I were you. You're you and smart, I know you'll figure it out. I did hear about a compliance app store that's saving banks and credit unions lots of money while making compliance easy. It's called Continuity Control. They were recently on the cover of American Banker, they sound like a great place to start. You can find them at www.continuity.net. Perfect. Are we all set with our conversation? I'm very clear on what I need to do and would like to get started. Go get them, son. Good luck and we're all counting on you.